An equation is uh, simply a relationship between an unknown quantity and a known quantity. If someone says pick a number, suppose the number is x and you're asked to multiply 2 with the number and then you're asked to add 4 to the number and if you say you got 10 then we can simply solve this equation and we will get 10 minus 4 which is 6 therefore if we divide this this would be 6 divided by 2 so the number was 3 this is called the root of the equation the root of the equation is that value that makes the equation true every value of x or any value of x will never make this true we can check it if you plug in x equals to 3 in this equation you will see that left hand side and right hand side would, would match 2 3 is a 6 6 plus 4 10 10 equals to 10 so when you solve an equation the root of that equation is that value which makes the equation true similarly when we have an equation like this sine x equals to 0 that means you have to find the value you cannot say any value of x would do because it won't there are certain values for which this equation will become true and if you take a look at the common angles you'll remember that uh, sine 0 happens at 0 degree it happens at 180 degree it also happens at 360 degree and you should have this memorized these are the common angles so in that case you can simply write x equals to 0 degree 180 degree or 360 degree if the question was cos x equals to 0 solve that cos x is 0 in 90 degree and 270 degree it is important to remember these two equations and for that reason we can just do this we don't have to worry about solving it you have to memorize it and you can write down the answer like this but most questions will not be sine x equals to 0 or cos x equals to 0 or sine x equals to 1 or cos x equals to 1 it would be sine theta equals to some other number let me call it a or cos theta equals to some number let me call it b or it can also be tan theta some number so in the C2 exam when you solve a trigonometric equation the question would be in these one of these basic form there are specific steps for solving these so let me go through the steps one by one suppose you have to solve this equation sine x equals to half the first thing that you have to understand that it's an arbitrary angle it's not a realistic right angle triangle angle it's an arbitrary angle so step one find the quadrant we know in the first quadrant everything is positive so sine x is positive here so it will lie in the first quadrant we also know that there is another quadrant where only sine is positive so it's the second quadrant remember c a s t c C A S T remember that so it would fall into two quadrants this is step number one step number two is to find the angle we call it the basic angle or the reference angle and the basic angle is always the absolute value that means if you have sine theta equals to a the basic angle would be sine inverse of a if it was sine theta equals to minus a even then the basic angle would be sine inverse of a regardless of whether the value is positive or whether the value is negative sine inverse would always be the absolute value meaning you ignore the sine and get the sine inverse so the basic angle would be sine inverse of half sine inverse of half it is 30 degree so we have the basic angle once you get the basic angle you put the basic angle on the horizontal line this is the quadrant this is the basic angle is always with the horizontal line the basic angle with the horizontal line the basic angle 
so this is what you do the basic angle would be with the horizontal line so we have to draw the quadrant here I didn't draw, draw the quadrant here every time you do the sum there has to be a quadrant here so the basic angle would be 30 degree and 30 degree next step 3 would be finding the angle themselves if the basic angle is in the first quadrant then the angle that you want to find itself is the basic angle so this angle corresponds to the basic angle so your angle theta equals to the basic angle and if it's in the second quadrant then your angle theta is 180 degree minus basic angle so 180 degree minus basic angle so both the sums that we have both the basic angle is first quadrant and second quadrant so x equals to so this is the first quadrant basic angle and x equals to this is the second quadrant that would be 180 minus basic angle which is 30 so that would be 150 so for 0 to 360 degree there would be two roots that makes this equation true one of it is 30 degree and the other is 150 degree now let's do another sum where we have sin x now this one let's have cos x cos x equals to 1 by square root 2 we need cos positive so first you take the quadrant c a s t so all positive this would be in the first quadrant and cos positive would be in the fourth quadrant so now we find the basic angle step 2 so cos inverse of 1 by square root 2 is going to be 45 degree so the basic angle would be with the horizontal line 45 degree and 45 degree so the first thing is going to be the first quadrant so this is same as the basic angle so this would be 45 degree so it's in the first quadrant the basic angle and the angle is the same and if you have in the fourth quadrant in that case the rule is let me write it down here if you have an angle in the fourth quadrant so the basic angle will be with the horizontal line in the third quadrant the basic angle would be again with the horizontal line so what about the other two quadrants if you have an angle in the third quadrant then the angle would be 180 degree plus basic angle if you have an angle in the fourth quadrant the angle would be 360 degree minus basic angle so these are the rules for finding the angle remember that in the fourth quadrant 360 degree minus basic angle that means this angle would be 360 degree minus 45 that would be 315 degree and that's the answer so the answer would be x equals to 45 degree x equals to 315 degree in the question they would always give the range of the root the range of the root would be give, given like this x is between 0 to 360 degree there can be an equal to here or if it's in radian it would be 0 to 2 pi whenever this is given and this will always be given you have to understand you have to select your answer if the answer is outside this range then you cannot write down the answer so you can say that there is another step the fourth step is choosing from the range so whenever they give you the range 0 to 360 degree then the final stage would be choosing the range remember step number one from the quadrant select the arbitrary angle C A S T where it falls step two is find the basic angle and remember in the basic angle in the basic angle you have to remember we take inverse of the absolute value if it's negative we take without any sign if it's positive we take without any sign after that we have to find the angle and that angle depends on what quadrant it falls the basic angle 
and if it falls in the first quadrant the basic angle is one of the angles if it falls in the second quadrant it would be 180 minus basic angle if it falls in the fourth quadrant third quadrant it would be 180 plus basic angle and on and on after the sum has been done then you choose the answer